What are you saying, ladies and gents? It is your boy, back out, Sam, and today, actually, before I start, this doesn't feel right. Let's get a football show on. No, that is better. Let's do this properly. What are you saying, ladies and gents? It is your boy, back out, Sam, and we are back again today with another Game Week 21 predictions. It's been a fast turnaround. Last week was amazing, but before we start, what are we saying about this shirt? Now, to be honest, the drip is real. 1990, England away shirt. I'm, to be honest, I'm rating it, and I don't... If you hate it, then you're an idiot. You're an idiot, okay? So let me know in the comment section below. Are we loving it? Are we hating it? Are we rating it? It's fire. But yeah, let's roll that intro. And now on to our first game where seventh place Everton host 16th place Newcastle. And now, Everton have won five of their last eight games, but have only won two of their last seven games at home, which is pretty crazy form against the Newcastle side who are winless in nine. And to be honest, I think it's time for Bruce. Bruce has got to go, so it's Bruce out for me. Let me know what you guys are thinking. But for me, Newcastle just aren't good enough, and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Everton home win. And now on to our second game, where 14th place Palace host 13th place Wolves. The two sides are joint in the position, only separated by goal difference. A Palace side in the last three games against the Wolves in all competitions have lost all three and not scored once. Against a Wolves side in really poor form, who are winless now in seven. But for me, I think the home side are just going to edge it. So I'm going to go for a 2-1 home Palace win. Now onto our next game where first place Manchester City host rock bottom of the league Sheffield United but Sheffield United will be going to the Etihad in really high spirits after beating Manchester United. Yes it might be in some controversial decisions but at the end of the day they deserve the win against the Manchester City side now who are unbeaten in their last seven games winning all seven and they keep banning in the goals and Gundogan to be honest looks like prime Pele at the moment so I'm going to go for a 2-0 Man City home win. Now on to our fourth game of the week where 19th place West Bromwich Albion host 18th place Fulham and West Brom are off the back of a proper spanking. Man City pulled their trousers down and what did they do guys? They gave them a good old spanking against the Fulham side who have now drawn seven in the league and I think they're going to make it eight. I'm going to go for a 1-1 KG draw. And now on to our fifth game where Arsenal host Manchester United, arguably the biggest game of the week with Manchester United sitting nicely in second place and Arsenal unbeaten in their last six games, winning five of them against the Manchester United side who were embarrassed, to be honest, against the Sheffield United side. So I think, will they bounce back? Who knows? But for me, I'm going to go for a 2-2 draw. And now onto a huge mid-table clash where 11th place Southampton host Aston Villa, who are 10th in the league. The two sides are only separated by goal difference, with Aston Villa losing three of the last four games, but were extremely unlucky to lose to a Burnley side against a Southampton side who have now lost two on the bounce. But for me, I think the Villa have got some class this season. And with Sanson in the ranks, I think some idea, some players like Douglas Louise and McGinn will be a bit worried. They'll be looking behind them and I think they'll step up this week. So I'm going to go for a 2-1 Villa away win. And now onto our next game where 8th place Chelsea host Burnley. And Burnley now off the back of two wins will be going to Stamford Bridge in top form. And Thomas Tuchel is going to be blown away with some of Burnley's passing and beautiful long ball football and to be honest this should be a really interesting game two differing styles of play and Tuchel is probably not prone to much football like this in France and in Germany should be a really interesting game so for me I think Chelsea will really step up this week I am going to go for a 3-1 home Chelsea win. Now on to our next game where third place Leicester host 13th place Leeds with Leicester now unbeaten in their last five games against the Leeds side who have lost two of their last three games but a big win for them against struggling Newcastle. But for me, I think Leicester have just got that quality this season. This season, I think they're definitely going to secure a top four finish. And I know that's quite controversial, but I can just see it happening for some reason with Madison playing so well at the moment. It's it, they've, got, they've got to do it. They surely have got to carry on this momentum. So for me, I am going to go for a 2-1 home Leicester win. And now on to fourth versus fifth. Who'd have thought it? Two sides competing for the Champions League. West Ham, who are unbeaten in four, host Liverpool, who have just got a huge win off the back of... I'd, I'd say they deserved to beat Tottenham. The side looked like they got that attacking spark back, which is worrying signs for David Moyes' West Ham side. But for me, 
I think this is this is the start of something for Liverpool. This is for their title push. So I'm going to go for a 2-0 Liverpool away win. And now on to the final game of game week 21, where 17th place Brighton host 6th place Tottenham. And Brighton need to get some points fast because the sides below them are starting to look alright. Well, except West Brom. But... The side need wins desperately. They've got one win in five against the Tottenham side who only got two wins in their last five games themselves. But I think this will be the game that kickstarts Tottenham again. I think they'll start picking up some form. So I'm going to go for a 3-0 Tottenham away win. A big thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, please subscribe because we're so close to hitting 600. Let's try and hit 600 by the end of game week 21. A big thanks for watching, my ladies and gents. What are you saying to the shirt? Are we rating it or hating it? I didn't set a light target because didn't fancy it this week. We'll set one next week. But Bucky had Sam, over and out.